How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to take a look into how to use BitTorrent safely. So what do I mean by safely? OK, so most torrenting websites actually have a comment section. So in terms of viruses and malware, you can just check the comment section for that. What I mean by safely is that a lot of countries have anti-torrenting laws. It's not because torrenting is illegal. Torrenting is totally legal, 100 percent legal. The illegal side of torrenting is actually when you try to torrent copyrighted content. So this is where you want to just kind of avoid all of that and make sure that you're doing it safely without anyone finding out, without your ISP finding out what you're doing, without the authorities finding out what you're doing. Because if your ISP finds out that you're doing, you're downloading anything that's, let's say, illegal, which I do not condone. So please check with your local laws uh, and, and uh, yeah, make sure that everything is you're doing is completely legal. So besides that, the way to make sure that you you're doing this safely with 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 a, a, a you know encrypted data uh, keep everything that you're doing keep your generally you just all of your online traffic and and browsing data safe uh, from prying eyes not just torrenting but just generally everything that you're doing online is by using a VPN and. I'm going to be showing ExpressVPN as an example today, but you can also use NordVPN and Surfshark. These are top tier VPNs that you can use if you're not willing to pay the premium price, for example, for, for ExpressVPN. Though ExpressVPN has proven to be one of the safest and most encrypted and just really, in my opinion, it's the safest in terms of anonymity and privacy. But if you're interested in Express or any of the other VPNs that I mentioned, such as NordVPN and Surfshark, I'll leave links to special deals and offers in the description down below. So feel free to take advantage of those. Now, it's the same principle for every VPN, really. Um, you're going to make sure that you're using a few things and you have a few options checked before you actually connect to the server. Connecting to the server is actually the last step when it comes to torrenting safely. So getting straight into this, we're going to go to options and we're going to make sure that the kill switch is on here under network lock, which says stop all internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And what that ensures is that if you lose connection to your VPN for whatever reason, now while you're on your VPN, you're actually on the VPN provider servers, which are encrypted and safe and completely private. However, if you lose connection to your VPN, you're going to revert back to the monitored servers uh, on your ISP or internet service provider. And if you don't have the kill switch on, your internet connection will stay on and you will expose yourself to whatever you were doing and because you're no longer on the encrypted servers. So what the kill switch does when you turn it on is that the moment you lose connection to your uh, VPN servers, you're going to be offline because it will completely cut your connection. Now, this is why it's important to keep the kill switch on if you're doing any torrenting activity. Just It's just like a it's a guarantee that you won't be uh, kind of exposed uh, in terms of IP or location or name or anything like that. Everything will be um, you'll be cut from the internet altogether. So there's really no information available as far as your ISP is concerned. This is why the kill switch is very important. Second of all, the protocol. I use OpenVPN UDP when it comes to torrenting. Why? Because it is the safest. Now, Lightway is a WireGuard protocol and it's pretty quick, possibly quicker, possibly more stable, reliable and secure. But we don't have proof of that. So when we get these uh, public reports from independent audit firms proving that uh, Lightway or WireGuard protocols in general are safer and or maybe as safe as OpenVPN, I would use Lightway, sure. I would use Lightway for streaming or for if you're on a mobile device because it takes less battery and everything like that. It's great for streaming, especially because it's super quick. But in terms of security, I would use OpenVPN UDP simply because when these audit firms uh, did their uh, audits and, and put the privacy policy of ExpressVPN to the test, they did that on the OpenVPN protocol, which proved to be as safe as, uh, as, as ExpressVPN uh, claims it to be. So uh, that's it for the protocol. And finally, we're going to go to DNS. Now, make sure you're using only DNS, ExpressVPN, DNS server is well connected. Make sure that this 
is on. What that's going to do is that's going to make sure that you're not using any virtual or rented servers. You're actually using physical servers owned by ExpressVPN within the ExpressVPN premises or in ExpressVPN uh, server buildings and only accessible to trusted ExpressVPN employees. So that's really the, uh, the, 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 the thing about the DNS servers here. You're only using these VPNs, uh, the, the, the servers, excuse me, that are uh, physically owned by ExpressVPN and they are uh, you know, only accessible to these trusted employees, which will guarantee maximum obfuscation rather than uh, using other servers that could be rented or virtual. So I would recommend that you keep this on at all times regardless because it will guarantee more performance better performance in general physical servers are definitely going to be much better uh when it comes to any kind of online activity really so that'll be it next up just go ahead do the speed test make sure that you are using the best server uh you you have here usually if it's paris one for me now one thing about this uh speed test is that it's not going to show your downloads, your true download speed for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does show you the best server available. So for me, it's usually Paris one and that's what I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, my, my download speed is actually double that, but uh, yeah, it, it will show you, it will accurately represent the best server available in terms of latency and download speed. We're going to pick that and then I'm going to here, if, as you can see, I have Flash Gordon, right? Okay, and, and I, it, this is a qubit torrent file, but I'm going to right click and open with BitTorrent, okay? And we're just gonna click okay, and here we have it. Now the speed will depend on your, how many peers or users are available, or seeders uh, supporting the download, so yeah and your own internet connection obviously so as you can tell it's downloading uh safely and soundly nothing nothing uh risky here you're definitely going to be encrypted using expressvpn but again if you're not willing to pay the premium price for expressvpn you can always use nord and surfshark which are all, like nord is about half the price and Surfshark is half the price of nord so <laughs> yeah you're you're good but if you're in a country with really heavy restrictions and it's risky, such as Japan, where you might be facing like two years of prison, uh, up to two years in prison if, if you're downloading and um, 10 years in prison if you're uploading. So that's just ridiculous. So if you're in one of those countries, um, make sure that you're using, you know, don't compromise on, on you know, don't don't try to save a few bucks for for uh, for for just to download. It's really not worth it. Make sure that you're using the best VPN you know, it's not worth risking years in prison. That's, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, that, that would be just my personal recommendation. Otherwise, if you're in countries where they're more lenient, then yeah, just go with Surfshark. You don't even have to go with NordVPN. <clears throat> but otherwise, uh, these are all top tier VPNs and they're great and I absolutely recommend them. So if you're interested, I'll link, I'll link some offers and special deals in the description down below. So feel free to use these and take advantage of them because some of these offers may not be available on the original website. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.